If you're considering treating yourself to a new set of wheels in 2024, you'll probably be looking for an SUV. But with so many great choices on offer, finding the right SUV for you might be a scary task. This video is here to make your decision a little easier. Here are the best SUVs under $35,000 that you can buy in 2024. Let's start with the cheapest. Number 1. Volkswagen Taos, 25345 Volkswagen's smallest and least expensive SUV impresses with good passenger and trunk space and modern tech. The Tiguan's little brother is one of the quickest models in its class as well. Its 1.5 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged engine puts out 158 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque, more than direct competitors such as the Chevrolet Trax, Kia Nero, or Buick Envista. The tiny 1.5 liter engine on the Taos purrs its way to 60 miles an hour in a respectable 7.8 seconds if you use the launch control, a feature you wouldn't expect to find on such a small and inexpensive SUV. The Taos comes in both front wheel and all-wheel drive configurations, but with different suspensions and transmissions. The front-wheel drive model is equipped with an 8-speed automatic transmission and a torsion beam suspension setup. If you opt for the all-wheel drive version, you'll get a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic and a more sophisticated multi-link suspension. Once inside, the little Taos seems bigger than you'd expect and surprisingly comfortable. It has 27.9 cubic feet of cargo space behind the rear seats alone, which extends to 66 with the seats folded flat. By comparison, the Mazda the XC30 features only 20.2 cubic feet of space behind the rear seats, and that extends to only 45.2 when you fold down the second row. Rear passengers of the Taos get 37.9 inches of legroom, which is only 0.8 inches less than the Big Brother Tiguan. The quality of the interior is also one of the best in its class. It has generous door openings, so you can step in and out of the car with great ease. The Taos comes equipped with a fully digital gauge cluster, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, and a 6.5-inch touchscreen screen infotainment system as standard. You can upgrade to an 8-inch version, an 8-speaker Beats Audio Stereo, 8-way power driver's seat, customizable ambient lighting, or a panoramic sunroof. The front seats are really comfortable, and they're available in cloth, leatherette, or leather upholstery, with heating and ventilation as optional. In terms of safety features, the Taos is available with forward collision warning, automated emergency braking, blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alert, and adaptive cruise control with lane centering. Number 2. Honda HRV 25425 The HRV is a very practical and value-oriented entry-level SUV that packs lively road manners borrowed from the Civic. Under the hood, you'll find a traditional gasoline 2-liter 4-cylinder engine that makes about 158 horsepower. It takes 9.4 seconds to hit 60 miles an hour, which isn't super fast, but that's not really why you'd get this Honda anyway. Front-wheel drive is the standard, but all-wheel drive is available as an option on all trims, paired to the same continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT. Inside, you'll find plenty of space with 24.4 cubic feet behind the rear seats, easily accessible and practical. Moreover, the rear seats fold down down almost completely flat, adding to the convenience of the cargo area. The interior is modern looking and neat, inspired by the Civic. It comes with either a 7 or 9 inch touchscreen infotainment system, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a wireless charging pad, and up to three USB charge ports. The HRV has a 5 star overall safety rating and plenty of driver assistance technologies, including adaptive cruise control, emergency braking, lane departure warning, and lane keeping assist as standard. Number 3. Hyundai Kona 25,435 The 2024 Hyundai Kona boasts a cool new look and zesty performance that will surprise you considering its price tag. The 2024 model grows nearly 6 inches in overall length, which means more legroom and better stability. In terms of performance, the standard Kona comes equipped with a gas-fed 2-liter 4-cylinder engine that makes 147 horsepower. It comes with a CVT transmission and offers a choice between front-wheel and all-wheel drive. 0-60 to 60 times for the 2024 model model are not out yet, however the previous generation Kona, with pretty much the same engine, did 9.2 seconds. A turbocharged 190 horsepower 1.6 liter engine with an 8-speed automatic transmission is also available. Inside, cargo space is fairly good. You get 25.5 cubes behind the second row. Fold down the back rows and that will extend to 63.7 cubic feet of space. The Kona also offers a cool trick for dealing with the cargo cover shelf in the back when you need to fit something taller in the trunk. You can simply unhook the cords from the lifted 
package, lift the shelf, slide it behind the rear seats, and it'll snap right into place. The interior design is sleek and futuristic with rich looking ambient lighting, a column mounted shifter, and lots of leather upholstery available. The center console now offers a much larger storage area, which could accommodate two big gulps or just a lot of stuff. There's also a clever storage utility on the right side of the dash that could come in handy. The steering wheel is a bit quirky looking, if you want, but we dig it. Probably the best value trim is the end line, which comes with the most powerful powertrain and the convenience package. The convenience package features two 12.3 inch displays that literally dominate the dashboard in a good way. On top of these, you get heated front seats, a wireless smartphone charging pad, onboard Wi-Fi, and adaptive cruise control with lane centering features. Honda also offers ventilated front seats and a heated steering wheel. Number four, Mazda CX-30 26,370. The Mazda CX-30 is a much more refined and athletic subcompact SUV than its competitors, with a generous range of standard features and an elegant, almost luxurious interior. As standard, the CX-30 is powered by a 2.5-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine, paired with a six-speed automatic that puts out 191 horsepower. Zero to 60 miles an hour happens in 8.1 seconds. If you want more power, there's a turbocharged 2.5-liter engine available, which puts out 250 horsepower and does zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. On top of these good figures, the CX-30 is also very nimble and could provide you with a fun driving experience after you drop the kids off at school. While the storage space is not quite on par with the Taos, it's still pretty decent. You get 20.2 cubic feet of space behind the rear seats, placing the Mazda in the middle range for subcompact SUVs. Storage in the cabin is a little better though. You've got a quite roomy cubby in front of the gear shift, center armrest bin, and glove compartments. The front seats could comfortably accommodate two six feet tall individuals, while in the back there's enough space for two other average sized adults or three kids. In terms of interior design and materials, the CX-30 is pretty similar to the Mazda 3. The infotainment screen pops up from the middle of the dashboard, and the climate control buttons are placed on the lower dash panel. You control the 8.8-inch infotainment display from a rotary dial on the center control. The base trim is very generous when it comes to standard features. You get all-wheel drive, LED headlights, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto integration and several driver aids. These include forward collision mitigation, lane keeping assistance, adaptive cruise control, drowsy driver monitor, and automatic high beams. The CX-30 also has a five-star safety rating from the NHTSA. If you're willing to pay a bit more, you can configure your CX-30 with keyless entry, synthetic leather upholstery, leather-wrapped steering wheel, power-adjustable driver's seat with memory functions, heated front seats, and a sunroof. Number 5. Subaru Crosstrek 26,540 The Subaru Crosstrek is a comfortable and reliable ride for everyday use, with all-wheel drive as standard and good off-road capabilities. The standard Crosstrek comes with a 2-liter, 4-cylinder engine that delivers only 152 horsepower. It needs about 9.5 seconds to hit 60 miles an hour. That's why we recommend the Sport, Wilderness, or Limited trims, which come with a more potent 182 horsepower, 2.5-liter, 4-cylinder engine, which can do 0-60 to 60 in about 8.1 seconds. The suspension is comfortable and dependable, and the 9.3-inch ground clearance means it can do a little more off-roading than the Mazda CX-30 or the Volkswagen Taos. Cargo space could be better. 19.9 cubic feet of storage behind the rear seats is not good, not terrible either. With the rear seats folded down, you get 55 cubes. The doors open wide, which really helps when you're installing even larger kids' car seats. The overall interior setup is simple and pleasant. The seats are very comfortable, and the cabin has received some very well-needed soundproofing, which really cuts down on road noise and vibrations during driving. The infotainment system consists of a standard 7-inch display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. The Crosstrek has received a 5-star safety rating from the NHTSA, and it also boasts key safety tech such as standard automated emergency braking, standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, and standard adaptive cruise control. Number 6. Subaru Forester 27000 The Subaru Forester is a very affordable and practical compact crossover, offering a relaxed and comfortable ride, plenty of cargo space and towing power. Under the hood, you'll find a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine that makes 182 horsepower, paired with a CVT transmission and all-wheel drive. It can go from 0 to 60 in about 8 seconds, and it can also tow up to 3,000 pounds in the wilderness trim and about 1,500 pounds in the other lower-priced trims. In terms of storage, with the rear seats folded, the Forester can hold up to 74.2 cubic feet of space, while the trunk capacity is about 28.9 cubes. While it might not have the total storage capacity of its competitors, such as Honda CRV, it 
it does have a higher roof and better cargo layout, which makes the space really usable. The interior design is as straightforward as it gets. All the controls are exactly where you'd expect them to be. A 6.5-inch touchscreen infotainment display comes as standard on the base, premium, and sport model. The pricier trims, however, get a larger 8-inch unit. Navigation doesn't come as standard, and you don't really need it, as you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. Number 7. Hyundai Tucson 28525 The Hyundai Tucson is a real bang for your buck. It's very good looking, standing out in the compact SUV class for its exterior styling, classy spacious interior, and smooth ride. Under the hood, you'll find a 187 horsepower 2.5 liter 4 cylinder engine paired with an 8 speed automatic transmission and a choice of front or all wheel drive. The all wheel drive version should make it to 60 miles an hour in 8.8 .8 seconds. There's also a hybrid and a plug in hybrid version that deliver better fuel economy and a bit more power. The hybrid one makes 226 horsepower, while the PHEV delivers 261 horsepower, and both have 258 pound-feet of torque. A strong point is the six-speed automatic transmission, which does a pretty good job, and we should bow to Hyundai for not fitting a CVT in there like most manufacturers do with their hybrids. The Tucson is also a good companion when it comes to storage. You've got 38.7 cubic feet of space behind the rear seats and 74.8 with the seats folded down. That is really good for its class. The cabin is also a very nice place to be. The big windscreen and thin side pillars offer great road visibility. The digital gauge display is crisp and modern. The push-button shifter is chic and stylish. The touch-sensitive control panel is simple and effective, although it is prone to some greasy smudges in the long term. The infotainment system features a standard 8.8-inch touchscreen that can be upgraded to a 10.3-inch version. Navigation is optional, and you don't really need it since it comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard. You can also upgrade to a better Bose stereo system, a digital key, and smartphone app for remote lock and unlock and start options. Number 8. Honda CRV 29500 The Honda CRV is a really good package. Good chassis, smooth ride, decent fuel efficiency. In a nutshell, the benchmark for small family SUVs. Once you pop the hood, you'll find a standard 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder, producing 190 horsepower with the help of a CVT transmission and either front or all wheel drive. 0 to 60 happens in about 8.3 seconds. There's also a 2-liter 4-cylinder paired with two electric motors that offer a combined power output of 204 horsepower. It can hit 60 miles an hour in less than 8 seconds. Cargo space is excellent, with 39.3 cubic feet of space behind the rear seats. Moreover, it's wide and tall enough so you can toss in some chunky stuff easily. And the good news is that you won't have to sacrifice too much cargo capacity for better fuel economy. Honda has done some magic, and the CRV offers almost the same cargo space for both hybrid and non-hybrid models. Models. Speaking of fuel efficiency, the hybrid is rated at 40 miles per gallon for the front wheel drive and 37 miles per gallon for the all wheel drive. The non hybrid can do about 30 miles per gallon combined. And if that's not good enough for you, what about the CRV's interior? It's really a thing of beauty, featuring honeycomb patterns across the dashboard, which cleverly conceal the air vents. A digital gauge cluster retains an analog speedometer combined with a 7 inch display that enables the driver to snap between different driving information. The rear seats can recline, offering good good legroom and comfort. The infotainment system can be controlled through either a 7-inch or a 9-inch touchscreen display with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The top-of-the-line CRV Sport Touring trim also comes with an awesome 12-speaker Bose sound system. Number 9. Volkswagen Tiguan 29855 The Volkswagen Tiguan is probably the best SUV under $30,000 that offers a third-row seat. A force to be reckoned with in its compact SUV class, the Tiguan features a turbocharged 2-liter 4-cylinder that delivers 184 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque through an 8-speed automatic transmission. 0 to 60 miles per hour happens in about 9 seconds, and all-wheel drive is optional. Note that if you choose Volkswagen's 4-motion all-wheel drive system, you won't be able to fit the Tiguan with a third row of seats. The interior is plush and refined, but space is scarce. Since they wanted to fit a third row in there, the legroom is incrementally smaller both in the first and second row of seats. As you'd expect, behind the third row, you get only 12 cubic feet of space. The infotainment system is a love or hate affair. Most of the controls are touch sensitive and integrated into the large touchscreen, which many users have found difficult to navigate, but that's also a matter of taste. Would you have physical buttons or just touchscreen everywhere? On the upside, however, you get standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and Wi Fi hotspot. All models feature a digital gauge display that's either 8 or 10 inches in size. As for driver assistance, the Volkswagen's IQ.Drive adaptive cruise control is standard on all models and it
It includes lane keeping and lane centering assist. Besides, you also get emergency braking and a blind spot warning system. Number 10. Toyota RAV4 Hybrid 31,475 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid is popular among SUV lovers for its straightforward practicality and reliability. Plus, it bears Toyota's reputation for durability and quality. Pop the hood and you'll find a 2.5-liter 4-cylinder engine paired with two electric motors for a total output of 219 horsepower. All-wheel drive is standard and a CVT transmission complete the ensemble. The RAV4 Hybrid is not only a workhorse, it's also a pretty quick compact SUV which can hit 60 miles per hour in just about 7.3 seconds. It's quite peppy, especially around town. And there's more. The plug-in hybrid RAV4 Prime gets even more juice from some more powerful electric motors for a total of 302 horsepower. That will zip you from 0 to 60 in just 5.6 seconds. The Prime version packs a nice 18.1 kilowatt hour battery that also gets an EPA estimated electric only range of about 42 miles. Inside, practicality takes center stage. There's plenty of space for four adults to stretch out and enjoy the ride. Visibility is also good in all directions, and the controls make sense. The 8 or 10.5 inch infotainment screens are nothing fancy, but they get the job done with the help of wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Cargo space is impressive, the hybrid RAV4 offering pretty much the same 37.5 cubic feet of luggage space as the non-hybrid models. Overall, everything feels well-built, something that Toyota is appreciated for all over the world. As for fuel efficiency, the RAV4 hybrid does 40 miles per gallon combined, which is not bad at all. Number 11. Kia Sorento 32,000 The Kia Sorento is a versatile all-rounder SUV. When you pop the hood, you'll find four engine configurations. There's the standard 2.5-liter four-cylinder delivering 191 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque. Then there's a turbocharged version that boosts the power to 281 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque. This one can sprint from 0 to 60 in less than 7 seconds. Both variants are paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission, but the turbocharged model benefits from a dual clutch. If you're looking for a more eco-friendly and efficient Sorento, then you can choose the turbo 1.6-liter four-cylinder gas engine paired with an electric motor for a combined output of about 227 horsepower. There's even a punchier plug-in hybrid version with 261 horsepower. The Sorento also packs a 4,000-pound maximum towing capacity, which can prove helpful in some situations. The interior is even more attractive than the exterior. The door panel and seats have a unique stitching pattern that make them look refined and luxurious. All three rows of seats are comfortable. The front seats are available with heating, ventilation, and a good range of adjustment settings. The second row can be either a bench seat or captain's chairs, depending on the trim. The third row seats are small, as you'd expect, and fit more for children than adults. The infotainment and connectivity features include a 4.3-inch digital gauge display and a 12.3-inch central touchscreen as standard, with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The Sorento also comes with a standard emergency braking and lane departure assist. Adaptive cruise control is also available as an option. Number 12. Jeep Wrangler 32095 The 2024 Jeep Wrangler keeps its classic off-road look and feel, giving you the confidence to tackle any challenging hill or rugged trail. This midsize SUV can be had with five different powertrains. There's a 3.6-liter V6 engine producing 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. The same engine can get a hybrid assist to pump up the power to 375 horsepower. There's also a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine that puts out 270 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. The same four-cylinder gets an electric motor and 17-kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery for a combined 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. This 4XE powertrain can even offer you about 25 miles of electric-only driving, so you can go on low-speed off-roading trips quietly. And of course, for the real deal, there's the 6.4-liter V8 producing 470 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. All these powertrains are geared towards good off-road capabilities, but they can also deliver good acceleration. For example, the V6 engine can sprint from 0 to 60 in about 6.1 seconds. The four-cylinder hybrid can do 0 to 60 in about 6.5 seconds. Inside, the Wrangler remains true to its specific vintage flair, combined with some modern features, like a 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto both as standard. The onboard navigation features over 2,000 mapped trails to have fun with. As for storage space, the Wrangler is an errand runner. You get good space to put your groceries and haul your gear, but its narrow body limits the total cargo capacity a bit. Even so, you buy a Wrangler to go on adventures more often than to the supermarket, don't you?
Number 13, Hyundai Santa Fe, $33,000. The 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe is a bold seven-seater targeting the more expensive midsize SUVs on the market. I mean, just look at it. It has that Range Rover look and feel with a significantly lower price tag. Under that hood, you'll find a two and a half liter four-cylinder engine delivering 277 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque paired to an eight-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission that drives either the front or all wheels. The hybrid version will also feature a turbocharged 1.6-liter inline four paired with an electric motor that produce a combined output of 232 horsepower and 271 pound-feet of torque. We don't have zero to 60 times yet, and we dare say they don't matter too much here. The seven-seater Santa Fe is addressed to buyers looking for exquisite ride comfort and plenty of convenience for the regular Sunday shopping spree. The cabin is so nice, with improved materials and a clean, huge center console. Visibility is great in all directions, but the curved glass screen steals the show from the get-go. It houses two 12.3-inch displays that look absolutely gorgeous. There are plenty of spaces to store your things. The center armrest bin can be opened from both the front and the back, making it convenient for the passengers on the second row as well. Beneath the center console, you'll find another spacious bin, and the car features not one, but two glove compartments. The upper one also comes equipped with a UVC sterilization light that Hyundai claims will disinfect your phone, glasses, or other personal belongings. How about that? The second row seats are available as captain's chairs with lots of adjustments and generous legroom. The Santa Fe's boxy shape also offers enough headroom for any adults who would dare climb in the third row of seats. According to Hyundai, the new Santa Fe will offer about 14 cubic feet of space behind the third row. If you need more, you can fold down the second and third row of seats. Now, these next two are slightly over the $35,000 limit, but they're both such great options that we had to include them. Number 14, Ford Explorer, 36,860. The Ford Explorer is the quintessential American family ride, ready to tackle anything from epic cross-country road trips to Thanksgiving Day shopping extravaganzas. You know a midsize SUV means business when the base engine is a 300 horsepower, turbocharged 2.3 liter that can hit 60 miles an hour from a standstill in just six seconds. If that's not enough, the ST models are powered by a 400 horsepower, twin turbocharged 3 liter V6 engine with enough oomph to start a dying star. And for the more eco-friendly conscious of you, there's also a hybrid 3.3 liter V6 that puts out about 318 horsepower. The Explorer rides on a rear-wheel drive platform with all-wheel drive as optional. A 10-speed automatic transmission does all the magic of putting that power down for all the models. Inside, the front passengers will get plenty of space and seat adjustments for a comfortable ride. However, the second row seats might feel a bit short on legroom, and the third row is more for adults with a below average height. The 8-inch touchscreen infotainment comes as standard, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and Wi-Fi connection. You can control it through a rotary controller on the center console. Moreover, voice-activated navigation and rear seat entertainment is available as standard on all models. Number 15, Audi Q3, $37,000. The Audi Q3 stands out as a subcompact luxury SUV, boasting a trademark Audi design, solid build quality, and a touch of interior luxury. Pop the hood and you'll find a turbocharged two-liter four-cylinder engine with two power configurations, one that makes 184 horsepower named Q340 and one that makes 228 horsepower and bears the Q345 badge. An eight-speed automatic sends power to all four wheels via Audi's well-known Quattro all-wheel drive system. The best 0 to 60 comes from the Q345 model and it's 7.3 seconds. Audi is well known for the driving experience it offers and the Q3 is no stranger to that. The chassis and engine are beautifully paired to offer a comfortable and sometimes spirited driving experience. Inside, the materials are high quality and the driving position is one of the best in its class, thanks in part to the eight-way power adjustments and lumbar support that the driver gets for his seat. A panoramic sunroof, leather upholstery, and heated front seats all come as standard. The infotainment system features an 8.8-inch touchscreen, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come as standard. If you're willing to pay extra, you could get some beautiful ambient interior lighting, a larger display, wireless charging, and a 15-speaker, 680-watt Sonos stereo system. Driver assistance technology includes emergency braking, lane departure warning, and automatic high beams as standard. More features such as blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alerts, rear emergency braking, and park assist are all available. We could say that the Q3 is the perfect luxury SUV for a young family of two or three at most.